seguidoras que han llegado hasta el último momento conmigo. Bueno, me encuentro en el día de la cirugía y um, hay un poquito de nervios, pero muy confiada. En el, el nervio es normal porque obviamente es algo como que no lo puedes controlar, pero eh, sé que estoy en muy buenas manos, muy buenas manos. Yo creo que voy a terminar quedando como una Barbie, así que nada, no se pueden seguir perdiendo todos los capítulos, recomiéndaselo a una amiga, de verdad de corazón, este lugar es el mejor, sin duda. Tienes que venir y me comer su Jenny. Our patient here today is going to get a, a tummy tuck with some liposuction of the abdomen in the back and of the chin. Um, she's had some prior liposuction about four years ago. Um, so I'm going to use the Vaser, which is an ultrasound assisted liposuction. So right here, I'm just going to show you how, how we do the markings. So typically everything is, is anatomical. You know, I'm just drawing some, some lines around the breasts so that I, I know not to go near her, her implants. You know, one very good place that a lot of people don't do is that this little axillary part that bothers a lot of women up here. I like to lipo that and, and get that nice and thin. You can see she's got some fat, not a, not a lot of fat. She has a little component of, of some internal fat. Arms up. So when I do my tummy take, I make my incision very low. You can see she has a C-section incision right here. So I'm going to go lower than that incision. And the incision is typically a, a curvilinear incision. It stands, just stands straight. So it kind of comes like a little bit of a smiley face. So that way I can maximize the amount of skin and, you know, the incision needs to extend as far laterally to the sides as where her loose skin ends. You can't stop it if, she, if you have loose skin all the way up there. So the length of the incision is, is kind of determined by, by her anatomy and, and what the, the problem is that we're trying to fix. So after I draw my, my tummy tuck incision, I'm just marking out some of the areas of where we're going to do some of the, the liposuction. You're going to bring this in as much as possible all the way down to her anatomy. You know, during the operation, I do make a little incision around the belly button. The belly button gets detached from the overlying skin. The belly button is, is attached to its own blood supply. Um, it stays put, we bring the skin down, and then we, we bring the belly button back out. And then I'm gonna do some markings of the chin. You can see she has a little bit of some fatty uh, tissue here. Just bend down just a little bit. So I kind of just draw out the markings of the area that I'm gonna liposuction. And the liposuction of the chin really, getting rid of this really helps to, to snap back that skin and to get that contour of the, of the chin. And you can see, you know, she, she does have some incisions from the prior um, liposuction. I think she even had uh, liposuction prior to the one that I did four years ago. Arms out to the sides. So I'm just drawing out my little sacral diamond right here that I always like to take in. But you can see, you know, even though she's, she's gained some weight from the last surgery, she still has, you know, a very good um, contour. What I'm doing is I'm finding out where the lower border of the 12th rib is. That way, that's the point where, you know, to create that hourglass shape, that's the lowest, um, you know, the lowest point of the 12th rib, which is the point of maximum indentation. You know, you can see she has, a, you know, some fatty rolls in the upper back. And this is where the vase is really helpful because the ultrasound really helps to break out that scar tissue and, and that, that tougher tissue to get in this area to really get that nice contouring of, of the waist. She's a little ticklish here, but we'll be okay. Then I find where the, the top portion of her hip bone is. I draw a line there. And then I kind of just draw, you know, the hourglass shape that I'm trying to contour so that when, you know, she's on the table, I have some markings. But that way we're going to liposuction the whole waist, bring in the waist as, as narrow as possible, get rid of this upper back fat, bringing in the waist and getting this nice S curve here really defines the, um, the buttocks area. I, I kind of get that curve here with the buttocks and that should take care of all the problems. Oh my God, it's an hour and a half. Yep.